What is going on, guys? So today, we are going to go over a quick guide on how you can finally start the PvP in Elden Ring, what items you need, and where you can find them. So the items of note in this video are the Duelist Furled Finger, the Small Red Effigy, the Recusive Finger, and the Festering Buddy Finger. Now, these two are mainly used for dueling situations. I haven't seen these used much, nor have I used them much, but they are there if you want to use them. The main types of PvP I like are the invasions. This is outnumbered, 1v2, 1v3 type of stuff. And the Festering Buddy Finger and the Percusive Finger do the exact same thing. However, the Festering Buddy Finger has limited usage, while the Percusive Finger has unlimited usage. So you can use this thing as many times as you want, invade a thousand times, and you'll never run out. So we're going to go over all these locations in this video. So the first two we're going to find is the Duelist Furled Finger and the Small Red Effigy. Now, you can find this right here on the map, um, but we're going to go over if you don't have anything at all, and, and you're basically basically bare bones from the beginning. So the first step, you're going to make your way up towards here to the church and then to the gate front, make your way around up through to the storm hill shack. You definitely want to grab this uh, grace location as we'll be teleporting back over here in here a second. You're going to come around here towards the saints bridge and this is where we're at. And then we're going to go over to here. This is where, again, where you get the duelist furled finger and the small red effigy. Now, something of note, whenever you come up through here, uh, if you basically are just right off the press, you just made your character and you're coming in here to, to start some PvP, you will encounter an invasion. You don't have to do the invasion. You just come over here and grab the, the two items and then you're good to go. But I just wanted to note that just in case uh, you don't have to fight this guy up here at all. I've already killed him, so I can't, I can't really show that again. But just trust me, uh, just just skip them. You don't have to fight them at all. If you want to, that's perfectly fine, but you don't have to. So the items will be right here on this guy. Uh, it would have knocked you off your horse already if you were going to get invaded by an NPC. But here is where the the things are. You just grab these bad boys, um, and then you, then you can use them. You don't even have to, like, you're just 10 minutes character made, and you can already do some dueling. So that's definitely awesome. Now... You we're going to teleport to the storm shack over here, and then we're going to go do the quest line. There's actually a little bit of a quest line you have to do to get the Rakusa finger. It's a quite, it's not super lengthy, but it's not too bad. So you start here, and you're going to want to go up through here. Um, now, for a few things of note, you don't have to kill any of these bosses to be able to get up here. Um, you don't have to kill Godric. You don't have to kill Margaret at all. You can just skip these guys if you want to. So we're going to be making. I will probably be making some lower level, soul level guides, um, maybe doing some PvP at soul level 20 or even 30, um, and that sort of thing. But you want to come up through here to the right and come through here. We're going to be basically scaling the side of the cliff. Um, it doesn't look like it on the side of the on the map, but it is very easy to get over here. It's not that not that not that hard. You come over here to this bridge. Then you hop down. Come around here, up through the rocks. This is very confusing. I was like, what is this over here when I, when I first started? And I, t I was like, wow, this is look like a shortcut. This has to be a shortcut. Sure enough. Keep going up through here. Be careful. There will be some some wolves and stuff. So just keep just keep on your horse. Just keep skipping past everything uh, if you are a low level. If you want to kill them, you can. But it's probably be rather difficult to kill them when you're that low. So now we basically just cleared past the first two bosses and don't even have to touch them. We don't even have to upgrade our soul level or anything. So this could be a very good low soul level type of, of thing you can do. So now you're going to go over here to the lake facing cliffs. Now this is where you will eventually, you will eventually find this thingy here. So there's right next to the telescope, there's a lady here. And we're going to run to the lady and I'll show you what to do from there. It's, it's very simple, it's just a little bit of running, but um, this is kind of what you have to do. Especially early game. Oh, and go in there and go get those tears as well. 
um, to get your upgrade your flasks. It'll it'll increase the potency of that. But you didn't have to do that. You can just come right through here, this little little breezeway. Like I said, you don't have to fight any ads. You don't have to fight any NPCs. Just keep on running. Here's a side of grace up here if you want to unlock it. Here is a the map location as well. Grab that. Just hop. You don't even have to hop off your horse. Just grab it real quick and then go. That's very important as, as you'll be able to see the map a little bit better. Keep on running. This is just heading northwest. And there you will see a lady. She will start speaking when you get in this area. She will be right here. She will ask you to go kill this guy over here or basically just get her necklace back. Just go grab her necklace like a true like a true Chad. Come over here. You will then go northwest to this shack here. Where this thing is. Go right directly northwest again to the shack. This guy is rather difficult, especially if you are, like, basically soul level, like, two or three or whatever. But what I suggest is just fight him on your horse. It's very easy just to strafe through and just slice him like this. Um, but he, he is rather difficult. Uh, he does a lot of punchy punches and you know, he can knock your teeth out. But he will be right here. You can get a little cheeky backstab on him right here and then hop on your horse. Hop on your horse and then just start slicing and dicing. Um, he will drop like a helmet. He'll drop like the, the necklace and he'll drop some fists as well. He'll drop these, these right here, which are actually pretty valuable uh, in in some of the some of the mines where those um where you can upgrade your weapons. But you you get the necklace and then you take it back to her. Basically, what you do once you give her the necklace, she'll tell you about a secret ravine area. That you can basically just kind of skip through quite a lot of stuff. So you want to run through here. It's quite a long distance. You run through here through the cracks and all that. You want to come through here. There's a little bitty, little bitty ravine. Oh, there's a little location here. I guess we can travel here and I'll just walk you through it. It really doesn't take that long. At least you can see what it looks like. So it's just a big open area. And then you'll see this ravine. Uh, and this is where it kind of getting gets more narrow. Then you're going to come all the way through here to the village. There will be some like mushrooms and stuff like that that will be, be smacking you around. But just keep running past those guys. But then you'll eventually get back to this thing here. Uh, this is where things get kind of difficult. It's typically around level 40 or 50 you're here. I did this personally like level 30 I want to say. Level 30-ish. Oh, what level am I right now? I'm level 42. So I'm not even super duper high either. Um, but... You come up through here, you you keep going. You don't have to necessarily fight anything until you get to this stern precipice overlook. Now, if you want to go like sweat mode, you can just keep just keep running through it. Um, I would not necessarily fight these guys if you are lower level because you will get your, your butt beat. So this is where you fight. Uh, I suggest getting some type of bleed weapon because this guy can be rather annoying. I think probably it's best to be about Ideally, level 30 to 35 to be here. But I'm going to be trying this at like so level 20, maybe even a little bit lower than that. But bleed damage, this salamander guy is very annoying, very frustrating, uh, especially for a newer player. But he is not that bad. Once you kind of get his timings down, it's not terrible. So you'll take this bad boy all the way up. A little bit, but it's not too bad. After you get up to the top, you will go to this Atlas Plateau. We'll then run through here again you don't have to fight these guys at all anymore you don't really have to fight anything to get this recusant finger on just yet 
like really at all anymore to be honest but once you kill that salamander guy then you are good to go i'll probably do a guide on that maybe help you guys out um but watch out for this dragon obviously um i still haven't killed him yet we run through here We'll then find a grace location. So there at the grace. And then you come up through here, through the ruins, and you will see that lady that had the necklace. She'll be standing right here. And she'll be like, oh, it's you again, da 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 da. And then she'll be like, okay, we're gonna take you to the volcano. So you go to the volcano mayor, she will teleport you there. You don't have to run there at all. Teleport you there. Then you will talk to this lady over here. Say hi to her. She'll give you a key. You take this key. You run down here to the left. Go in here. And the Recusa Finger will be right here on this table. And now you are good to go for PvP. And you can invade all to your heart's content. You will get massive amounts of PvP and do all that stuff. Now, there is some quest that you can do. Uh, that, like, remember over here, the very, very beginning, uh, there was a quest that I did earlier that I just come over here and killed this guy. I got some cool armor. Uh, let's see here. I'll show it to you guys. I don't necessarily like it, but it's a scaled armor. It's very heavy. I, I get, I get, I get fat, fat man rolls when I get this thing. But this is the armor that that guy dropped for me. So some cool stuff uh i guess this is kind of like your your affiliation or your faction so to speak but it doesn't necessarily have an affiliation or a faction but that is really it guys that's now you can pvp now you're ready to go you don't have to farm these festering bloody fingers anywhere you don't have to find the merchants to buy these you can just invade all of your heart's content and, and do all that stuff but i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys learned anything be sure to smash that like button and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace